M0FXB, welcome to my channel. I had a couple of people message me about the OpenSpot 3 and 4, which has the included battery, and the OpenSpot 2. What you know, what is the difference? Well, you can see straight away there's quite a big size difference here. The 2 is a very convenient unit. It's USB powered, so it's it does not have a built-in battery. It does not cross mode, but it does work on all modes. DMR, D-Star, Fusion, plus more, I would say. So I really like it. It's I can put it in my pocket with a battery, portable battery with, with the usual USB power supply, or I can plug it into my car, into the USB connector. Of course, not 12 volt, it has to be the, 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 the usual, is it five, three to five volt? And it just works. I love the LED. It's very obvious, the LED in the OpenSpot 2. Now, the, the 4 is obviously excellent. It's the best one. It's the, it's the most advanced one. It cross modes. It has the fastest processor. You know, it's the super duper one. It does all modes and it will cross mode to D-Star. So does the, the 3. Now, the 4, for some reason, the OpenSpot 4 doesn't do D cross mode to D-Star. It does do D-Star. It doesn't cross mode to D-Star, where the 3 does and the 4 Pro does. The other thing about the 4 is you can actually use it without a radio. You can put this in your pocket, take your mobile phone and have a full conversation using your, you know, your, the app on your phone. And that's iOS and Android, which is quite handy. So overall, if someone said to me, do I recommend the OpenSpot 2? Yes, Definitely, you're picking them up at a much more a much reasonable price. I'd say you'd get one around a hundred pound nowadays. The three is going to cost you nearer 200, 150 to 200. The four pro, if you want the full blown version, well, you, you're looking at 270 plus the tax, so 300 pound. I suppose you'll get one second hand. And then we're looking here at the Icon 52, which is excellent device. D star there. And you can use this with a DMR radio. You know, I recommend the FT5, definitely. That's to me, is the best fusion handheld out there easily. DMR-wise, I would go for the Anytone 878 because you've got all the backup out there and all the code plugs. And it's just a very nice set, very strong, long life battery on it. The battery is actually very good on all, of, all three of these devices. The battery, the batteries, in my opinion, are quite good. So thanks for watching my channel, OpenSpot 2, 3, 4, and uh, some of the best uh, digital radios out there. 7.3, catch you on now, all the best.